jelly babes. Can I just say I am totally in love with these nail art wraps. I'm not normally a fan of them, but these applied so beautifully and look so amazing. I'm really, really impressed. So I will get into the details about the products in a moment, but firstly I wanted to show you this nail art mat that I created. Um, I designed it, um, I just thought I wanted something that was going to watermark my videos as well and I sort of designed it then I sent it off to my lovely father-in-law who very kindly printed it off and laminated it for me. Um, so what do you guys think? So here are the gorgeous nail art wraps that were provided uh, sorry, that was sent to me from Ch Charlie's Nail Art for review. So this is the code if you want to purchase these yourself. It's BN083. And if you have never used nail art wraps before, it does provide um, instructions on the back of the packaging. It's really simple to do. You just sort of um, get it out of the packaging, remove the, the plastic film, put it in some water, and then place it on your nails. But I will be demonstrating you uh, yeah, demonstrating, <laughs> I can't get my words out, on how to do this. So that's the plastic film that you'd have to remove before placing in the water, otherwise it doesn't transfer properly. And you just want to sort of cut out the decal ready. So I'm going to peel that plastic back in off now. So I've done all, all the prep work needed for a gel mani off camera. So I am applying my base coat to the nails, remembering to seal the free edge. And then I'm going in with a white gel top coat. I am only going to be applying one coat as um, you don't particularly need to apply two coats because obviously I'm putting the nail wrap over the top of it. So before you cure, you want to just get rid of any imperfections beforehand you won't be able to do so afterwards and then I am going to remove the tacky layer using isopropyl alcohol and a lint free wipe so I'm just placing it in some water I'm going to leave it there for about 10 to 20 seconds and then I'm going to come in with my tweezers and basically where you'll know it's ready because it'll just sort of slide off the back in as you can see here you want to try not to wrinkle it as much as possible and then just place it flat onto the nail. Now you have got a bit of time to work with this which is really good. Um, it won't sort of stick down until you get some sort of kitchen roll or something like that and then you just sort of pat it down and then it absorbs all the extra water then that sort of sticks to your nail. And these applied so nicely it just sort of worked it just sort of applied really really nice. And then I'm just going to remove the as much excess decal as possible before I come in with some acetone and again it just melted off like a dream you want to just obviously be a little bit careful and work out any creases as you go but you don't want to go in too much because then obviously you could melt it and see the white polish underneath but yeah so easy to work with and then it's just applying a top coat and that is it and I am mega impressed with how these look. I mean just look at how gorgeous it is and what I love about these is it doesn't actually look like a water decal if that makes sense. Like some of them look really sort of pixelated and you can tell like a mile off it's a nail art wrap whereas with these you could get away with thinking it was some stamping or something like that. So yeah, I am mega impressed with this product. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And to get a full set of nails done for 89p is just a bargain. So quickly, just before I go, I just wanted to mention that I actually wore these for five days, chip free, which I was also really, really impressed with. Um, so thank you so much for coming and checking out this review and demonstration. Thank you, Charlie's Nail Art, for sending me these products for review. And until next time, Jelly Babes, Take care and here's some of the videos that you may have missed. Bye.